Good day, guys. Sci-Fi back again with another, I was going to say, action figure review, but no, no figures, well, none whatsoever. Um, yeah, action figure collecting at the moment, unless you go backtracking, it's pretty much all dead in the water until about April, late April, May. So I'm going to do another wish list of things that Hasbro should bring out in Star Wars. Last time I did The Force Awakens, this time I'm doing Rogue One, and of course, again, I'm using these fantastic visual guides or visual dictionaries and this one is one of the most it's the most pristine and fantastic and very full of information no other visual dictionary or whatever has this and Rogue One was a beautiful standalone movie could watch it again and again I know people who only watch the movies they're not huge collectors or massive fans but they love this movie as well they understand it, it fits its slots in to the Star Wars universe and very well put together. But anyway, rambling on after a minute, so here we go, the visual guide and some figures that I would like to get. Now I'm gonna pause and whatnot around here. Also it's got some beautiful photography. Great stuff. Yeah, so figures we've already seen. Large, wide photography. Look at that. Panoramic. And lots of contents, including a in this book, including a uh, behind the scenes. We're not going to go there. We're only going to go through a few chapters. So there's just pages and pages of dudes. There's a writing with John Knoll, of course. You have all know him. Of course, Death Troopers. We have these. You can get them. And the Hot Toys DX actually has a Death Trooper with a toy holding onto a Stormtrooper toy. And Death Troopers. Oh, I love them. Anyway, so there's overviews of where planets are. So you go to... What planet is this one? I forget. Uh, Lamour, where... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Urso. Galen Urso. You can get a Galen Urso figure. Not in that as clothing. Be nice to get another one of him. That'd be cool. Yeah, Lamour. And don't mind this servo droid. That'll be that'll be a cool figure to get, but I don't think so. It only briefly appears in the movie, but then again, unless going back into the past, Lyra Urso. Will they ever make a figure of Lyra Urso? Probably not. She's only briefly in the film, but it was a very near so homestead and a young. Jin Urso, no. See, this book is so detailed. They even put all of Jin Urso's toys. Seriously. Interesting. <laughs> Scotty, you got us there. Okay, we've got, to, we've got to speed through. Okay, Krennic Shuttle, very similar to uh, Kylo Ren Shuttle. Will they make it? Probably not. It's a nice looking shuttle though. It's pretty cool. And da, 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 da. of course, Death Troopers again. We have them in the three three quarter, six inch, and Hot Toys. Now the reason I like Death Troopers, I'm going to ramble on here. I stand at six foot four, and I've always been a little too tall for a stormtrooper, but not now. Because some of these guys are. There's a, uh, an average height of six foot five. Some of them are seven foot tall. Actors in the suits. And if I had the money, I'd buy a whole damn death trip suit. So, right. Rebel Alliance. Mon Mothma. I need to get another one of her. She's this, actually the same actor who played in Revenge of the Sith. So, if you need it, if just all you got to do is get a Revenge of the Sith. Mon Mothma. And Bingo Bango. One for... The your Rogue One display and Yavin Four. See, we're going, we've gone, we've skipped past. Sorry, going again. Admiral Radis, you can get General Draven. Now there we go, General Antok Merrick. Uh, my good friend, uh, only one Kenobi, only one. He wants this one as a vintage card. It'll be cool. I wouldn't mind it. Blue Leader. He's got a lot to do in the movie, and he's very cool, very charismatic. I agree. 
my friend, only one Kenobi. It'll be a good figure. But yeah. General Jan de Donna, you can already get him. See, there's just pages and pages of senators and whatnots. You never see, it doesn't mention the planet that he was on when you first meet Cassian Andor, it doesn't matter. As a gun's going to flip through K2SO, you can get them. Rebel support, lots of troops, doesn't matter. The, y, the Ewing, sorry, gunship, well, I won't speak about that at the moment, but I'm poorly put together. Very poorly. Alright, let's go, occupied territory, Jeddah. There's some great characters in Jeddah. Great characters. And they have a lovely photo there. Here we go, Jeddah Pilgrims. I wouldn't mind seeing a few of these on the cards. They're fantastic looking characters. Priests. And whatnots. You do see them in the film. Now this one is extremely interesting. And they're decraniated. Does anyone remember seeing this in the movie? It's basically a you know, medical technique of just twing, cutting out someone's brain and putting in a medic, medical sort of uh, robotic thing. There's another cool one. Look at this dude, Tam Postler, calls himself a interstellar lawman, which just means bounty hunter. He looks cool. I like that. So we're getting into decent looking guys now. Weird, different characters. And that poor little kid, you remember her? Screaming her head off. Another robot. More of pilgrims. <laughs> Severely decroniated this one. He hasn't got a head at all. This guy. See, some of these I do remember. Just briefly, if you see the film. And what else? Ah, then we get to Saw Guerrera's gang. Played beautifully by Forrest Whitaker. You can get a three, three quarter inch. I don't know if you can get a six inch one. I think I've seen one. I'm not quite sure. Just um, drop a comment down below if you've seen one. If not, so I would love to get one. A six inch version because he's got all the breathing apparatus, the flag. Saul Guerrero, been through it all. Clone Wars, everything. Saul's hideout here. Yeah, now here's some cool looking things as well. You can actually there's his medic, medical droid. Now, that's just basically a 2-1-B. You could paint it up, do whatever. You do seem very briefly. Uh, of course, he's militia. Uh, here we are. Wootif Sayubi. He's cool. That um, was played by Warwick Davis. Let me get some other cool dudes here. Look at this one. He's cool. Get these guys out as, as figures. That would be fantastic. That's Bib Fortuna's cousin, Visa Fortuna. You do see him, I remember seeing him in the movie, very briefly. And out of all these, <coughs> excuse me, Moroff, you can get him, big giant looking dude. He's cool, may only seen very briefly. And of course the two tubes, another cool one. Don't know which one, which one came in the pack. I think it was this one. I don't remember the big backpack running along there. It's all very cool. Yeah, they, so you get some great aliens in this movie, I swear. And Bodhi Rook, a very hard to get figure. Um, Rogue Quan has just released a video with this figure. Now, also, when I, what I like about the Bodhi Rook figure is... Most of the Rogue One figures came with a piece of plastic, some bullshit, sort of gun, whatever. His is useful. See that? Came with that. It was actually in the movie, and it's good to display. Anyway, so you got the Shirat Imwe, all these guys, Baze Mel's, but yeah, they're all here, all there. This um, combat assault tank is coming out soon. 
Can't wait to see that. Don't know where the hell I'm going to put it when I get it. Alright, so all the rest is tank drivers, ATSTs, Empire. We all know who all these people are. Da 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 da. Death Star scientists, stormtroopers. Yep. So there we go. We've, all these are released. So the ones I just showed you are. Yeah, some of the ones I like to see. Alien creatures, blink and miss. Also on Jeddah, the ones I forgot to mention were um, <laughs> which are another set of figures that I wouldn't mind getting, is Doctor Everzan and Ponda Baba. You can actually go and get them and just stick them in your collection. Same as Darth Vader, same as Tarkin, what not. Also before I go, um, yeah. I'd like to say uh, another quick shout out. Okay, thank you, Only One Kenobi, for um, giving me this idea in a way. And my, also my mate, Ollie Holst. He did it as well. He said, why don't you do this? Um, also to MG Villain. Had a bit of a chat last night, but he had to pretty much all pack up and go to work. Five minutes into the chat. And also a good friend who I'm, I'm going to welcome... We, we should all welcome back into the community uh, Volcanics Playground. You'll see him on, on my video channel, on my YouTube. He'll comment down below when he can. Click on his channel. Check out his videos. He's got a ton of stuff. Awesome displayer. So, Joe, we had a big uh, drunken chat last night. Well, I was drunk anyway. Don't know about him. But chatted forever. So, Joe, welcome back to the fold, my friend. He's been through hell. Give him some love, give him some respect, it's all good. Alright Joe, alright Manny, Mr. Only One, don't know your real name man. And uh, anyone else out there, hello, sorry no figures, I was going to get a Terminator yesterday, a big Hot Toys T800, nice and shiny but I had to put my money elsewhere. Anyway, so I'm going to hit the unlucky 30 minute mark. Um, next I'll be doing the most talked about polarized Star Wars film lately and that'll be the last Jedi visual guide and I suggest only one Kenobi look at it it's fantastic I've got it right there I'm not gonna pull it out yet I'll do another whole video on these characters alright guys thank you very much for watching and putting up with no figures to look at I will um, see you all later I'm still trying to jump out of this bloody head cold of mine it won't go away and winter hasn't even kicked in yet. Alright guys, uh, sci-fi out. Drop comments down below. If you want to, say day, jump on board, whatever. And the force is with you, always.